In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a clean version of Navisworks, or what I've been calling a Navisworks Lite version. So usually when we create a Navisworks file, it uses the last drawing state uh, that the modeler's been uh, using Ship Constructor, uh, which may not be exactly what uh, is needed. Uh, so for example, if you look at a typical structure drawing, uh, there's a lot of uh, extra information here that I don't really need in my Navisworks models, uh, depending on the type of model I'm doing. Uh, so for example, I don't need all this marking, the piece marks. Uh, and in this case, um, the modeler has decided to view green, which if I uh, put this in my Navisworks, my clash detection would uh, have false negatives uh, of this, these profiles. Uh, as well as if I look at my uh, mechanical system, uh, the modeler uh, last left the drawing with uh, drawing spools on. It shows a uh, flow direction um, and even connections with these gr uh, green lines. So these are components or entities I don't really need in my Navisworks. So the whole idea of this is how can I clean this up so that when I create a Navisworks model, uh, it doesn't have these artifacts. Uh, another problem that happens is sometimes um, these drawings have X reps or they have part views, or in some cases, um, they some parts can be hidden. And if a part is hidden and you create a Navisworks file, those parts are now not shown up in Navisworks, which can be a problem on uh, when you want to view your whole project or a project component. That depending on the state that the last monitor um, left the project will depend on what objects you see in your Navisworks, which is obviously not our intention. Uh, so the idea of uh, the Navisworks um, light version is that it will create a, um, a version of Navisworks that will make sure that everything's unhidden or everything's uh, viewable. It will get rid of some of these uh, connections such as the spool breaks and flow direction. It will remove green um, as well as add beveling or show beveling in my model so that I have a better uh, clash detection um, workflow. And as well as it will uh, um, remove any XREFs or part views that are, I don't want to duplicate in my uh, Navisworks. So to do this is uh, you do this through Publisher. So if you uh, load Publisher and you connect to your project and then you uh, click on Load Manager, which I will uh, select my drawings and I will go for my specific types. I want um, my whole project. So for example, I'm creating a Navisworks for my whole project. I want to unselect this. I want to type in model here. Uh, select all my uh, model drawings. And then uh, select the whole project. Click OK. And then with the drawing selected, I select my operation, select uh, select, and then select the operation of Navisworks Lite. And virtually that's it. I have to make sure that my output directory is where I want to put the file. If it's not, I can just click on uh, change output directory to change it. Uh, but if I looked at this now, it will show me that there's nothing in that directory. So the next step is to click run. So what is happening now is the publisher is uh, executing ship constructor. It will open up every drawing. Um, that I've selected uh, and set the drawing options to how I have set it up in my operation. So again, I want to remove all the text and uh, the spool breaks and flow direction, remove the green, um, as well as remove any part views or X refs, as well as in some cases, uh, make sure that everything's viewable. So if a modeler has actually hid a portion of the model for easy modeling, it's not, it, it won't affect my Navisworks um, file that is being generated. So it's uh, finally done. And the power of uh, video is I made that process a lot faster for the video. <laughs>
it uh, usually takes a little bit longer than that. Uh, so if we go to uh, everything seems to be successful. Uh, so we close this here, and if we go now to our output directory, we'll see that it created uh, all the Navisworks files here. So this is where all the Navisworks files are. And in this case, I, I've copied the Navisworks file uh, rather than keeping it in the same location, um, mainly because that I've my Navisworks doesn't always represent exactly what the DWG was. Uh, and because we've changed those drawing options, at least for the Navisworks, not for the drawing. So just for this uh, strategy, I thought I'd, I'd copy the drawings. But again, if you want to use a different strategy of keeping the NWCs in the same location, that's fine as well. Uh, so if we just uh, load those things in uh, Navisworks, um, you can just see that it's a little cleaner model. There's no text, uh, there's no lines. Uh, all my items have green. Uh, but it just ends up uh, creating a even a lighter weight model so it's a little bit faster as well uh, because even though the lines and text are uh, relatively um, lightweight there's just so many of them sometimes so it actually reduces the model size and the navigation of it becomes a, a little bit better uh, so hopefully that was useful for you